Was she expecting um, Gibbs and Cruiser not to play, like the, it's being reported? Um, haven't really given that much thought, Barra. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we would be aware of what's going to happen if they one or both play. If they neither play, it's not going to have a massive impact on our preparation. And from your side, you're expecting Kerr and Cox now to be sweet? Yep. And uh, Cox, you just, just, it was just back spasms, was it? Just need to settle down, is that what's happening? Yeah. So he'll be at 100% right again? Yep. Do they still need a pass like for this test? Like Kerr said last week, he's going to be 100%. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we've got training today and um, they'll do a bit, but you know, by uh, Saturday we need to know they're, they're, they're fit to go, so we're confident that'll happen. John, have they worked out why Coxie had those sort of back spasms? He never really seemed to have that sort of issue before. He has had it once before, a fair while ago. Um, just jarred a joint in his back, it basically landed awkward and jarred it. What sort of back the nerve the wrong way and sort of let it go? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't gone into it in that much detail. I care about him, but <laughs> not that not that much, no. What about Matt Rosa, John? Where's he at at the moment? Uh, he's unlikely to come up for this week. Um, so, yeah, it's disappointing for Matt, but he's going to keep pushing and hopefully be available over the next few weeks. He's in danger now of not playing part of the final season. So oh, yeah, he's definitely in danger of that, but, um, but it's not ruled out, so he'll push up. Sort of like that could come in without having played elsewhere. Yeah, I think he could. Yeah, he's uh, he's been a very important player to us. And did he hurt himself again last week? Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he really did everything he could to push up. And again, a bit like Curry, we had to we had to stretch him to make sure that um, that he was ready to go. And we worked out he wasn't, so it set him back a little bit. Do you run those same tests on Kerr this week, John? You said you ran two pretty stringent fitness tests on him last week. Same again. Yep. Ash Smith, how's he travelling? Yeah, he's going well. Yeah, so um, we would expect that he'll be available as well. He's been in the side for most of the year, and given the fact that Carlton's got a few small forwards that like to run ramp, does that increase his chances of being a um, Yeah, well, you'd, it increases it more than if they had four tall players. So, yes, yeah, so the opposition lineup means we have to have a good look at whether Ash comes straight back in. Does their forward line present a different challenge to your defence? think you've just dealt with Collingwood with two monsters and they have, you know, Betts and Garlett are really important to them, Walker's more a mid-size than a, a sort of a big guy. They a different forward set up to most others? Not guys. really. Cracker, Blair, Beams, Didac, very good dangerous small forwards as well. So, um, you yeah, know, this is probably the more the norm, the forward line that we're facing this week. Any idea about um, some of those midfield matchups in terms of Judd and Murphy? Who might be able to take them and tag? I would hope I've got a good idea about that. Do I want to reveal it? Um, not really. Yeah. Scott Selwood said that he let it be known to you that he was keen to have another crack at Juddy. Did you mention that? No, he hasn't. No, maybe he thought he'd do it via the media. Point <laughs> taken, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll take it on board. He sort of said that he, he wants to be the best tagger in the AFL. How far do you think he's got to go to get to that point? Um, we haven't really given that any thought, and it depends what you expect. But the role he's played on our side this year has been uh, tremendous for us. Really pleased with the way he's developed as an AFL player. And um, you know, at 21 years of age, he's got a lot of room for improvement still. John, from the outside looking in, it looks like Paddy McGinnity might be the one that would come out for someone like Kerr. But does Paddy McGinnity have another role in terms of possibly tagging Murphy as well? He has many things that he brings to our team. Um, you know, we were wrapped with what he brought when he came onto the ground on the weekend. Um, in that substitute role this year, he's played through the midfield, he's played back. Um, we know he can play forward and give a good contest up there as well. Last week, John Leon Davis got quite a few touches across the half-back line, the whole half-back line in general this week. Chris Sharon, another big challenge for you boys? Uh, yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's their go-to player in the back line um, and likes to run and carry the ball. So uh, we know what he plays like. Um, his job is to try and stop our forwards kicking goals as well. Is that a forward defensive tag or are you happy to go? Could be, but it like doesn't have to be. Ham was left by himself in defence last week. Do you think that works for you to have the both guys having a spare man defence? Um, yeah, we didn't really have a spare man in defence too often, but um, uh, Yaron, I would expect, won't be loose that often. He'll be uh, on a man. So you're 
You're almost, would you say you're almost at full strength, apart from Rosa, this is just about right for you? So it's like it's all come together at the right time? Um, well, yeah, we've worked pretty hard this year to have a flexible squad. We've um, got players that aren't in the side that have played some games this year and contributed really well. But yeah, with Rosa out, he would be playing if, if he had uh, stayed fit. And that's, a, that's probably the only one. Uh, you know, we've got to weigh up Mitch Brown, Ash Smith, those guys as well. So is, is Judge still the automatic one you tag against Carlton, or do you have to pay more attention to Murphy now? Uh, well, there's, there's various ways to look at it. Um, you know, Judd is still a, a real super player for them and sets up so much to the play, but Murphy's had a massive impact on their performances this year as well. So um, you know, we're going to weigh up all the different things and see what fits our, our style um, the best. Is it pleasing this week, John, to be able to give something back to your fans that missed out on football at home for a few years? Uh, yeah, it's great. Um, you know, they're, they're pretty excited about it. They've really enjoyed the year. Uh, they've been right behind the boys all year. Um, and you know we expect they'll be right behind them again on Saturday night. What about yourself? Excited to get back at home, play home for Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's um, it's what you play for to try and uh, make finals and then see how you go against the best. How important was that experience for those young guys um, in their first game at the MCG and now this week coming back? Will that really help them this week? Um, well, it's a great learning curve for them. Um, yeah. To play in some, uh, one just to play against Collingwood, play against the best team is a great experience. Uh, to play in a final, um, the intensity does go up a bit, we're all aware of that. So that's a great experience for them as well. They'll all learn and, and be better footballers throughout their career um, through the experience of playing some finals football. In your view then, is Collingwood still the best team? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, the best that we've played this year to date, and uh, you know we've we've played them twice. We only played uh, Carlton and Geelong um, once, so um, Hawthorne only once. How important are the fans for the boys' morale this weekend? Uh, well, they're great to be part of it. We also we see them as um, enjoying the success that the boys have had this year and uh, getting behind it. So uh, they can play their part. We'll do our bit. Have you noticed a buzz around the city now that it is final stuff? I don't get out much, mate. <laughs> There's a bit of a buzz in the concrete bunker down here, but um, you know, when I drove in on Monday morning uh, early, there was people camped out in the freezing cold. Um, so that that you know, you really feel that it's great that they're getting the opportunity to come along and watch live on uh, Saturday night.